15 years is a long time to wait for a reliable source of clean drinking water, but that's how long a First Nation in British Columbia has been under a boil water advisory. And that's about to change. The CBC's Jesse Johnston explains. The Semiamu First Nation is some of the prettiest property in the province. 172 hectares of oceanfront real estate. You'd think this is some of the most valuable land in the world. But there's a problem. Simiamo has been on a water boil water advisory for the past 15 years, permanent boil water advisory for the past eight years. It's a cruel reality for the 40 or so band members and hundreds of others who live here. Surrounded by water with none to drink. At least, not yet. This week, the SFN struck a deal to tap into the city of Surrey's water supply. For me today, it's a real uh, tearjerker for me, uh, you know, to be able to get something so important. This signing ceremony, a cause for celebration. This moment has been a long time coming. To understand how long, take a closer look at who is celebrating. That's 89-year-old Mabel Charles clapping along to the beat. I like to listen to the drums and sing. Mabel's late brother, Chief Bernard Charles, wanted a water agreement with Surrey more than 40 years ago. She says he finally got his wish. <laughs> a proud moment for a proud woman. And her daughter, too. And I wanted my mom to witness in her lifetime that we were able to get this done. The SFN still needs to upgrade its ancient infrastructure before it connects to Surrey systems. But if all goes well, that will happen next spring and there will once again be reason to celebrate. Not just because there will finally be clean tap water, but also because the next generation won't have to fight for something most consider a basic human right. Jesse Johnston, CBC News, Semiamu First Nation.